You know how useful it is when people review aquarium products? Well, I'd like to see the same thing for recommendations on fish stores. You know, I'm really busy and I'm not gonna take the time to drive somewhere and check out a new fish store. I kinda wanna know what other hobbyists think. So I decided to talk to my editor, Matt, and set up this remote interview of his favorite fish store, Aqua Life Aquarium. So let's go on together and check it out. My name is Jason Clark. I'm the store manager here at Aqualife Aquarium in Rockland. Nice to meet you, Jason. Thanks for having us. So let's start from the beginning. How did you get into fish keeping? Man, I've been in the hobby for well over 15 years. Uh, my first fish was actually from Aqualife at the old location. Started with salt water, kind of skipped over fresh. Started with more of an aggressive reef tank, if you will. You know, had bigger wrasses and more aggressive fish. That was kind of what caught my eye. And then from there, just, you know, started one tank turned into two, turned into four, as it usually does. That's really cool. Thanks for sharing. Uh, I think the question that everybody wants to know is, how did you go from being an ordinary hobbyist to running an entire fish store? I went from being a hobbyist to a store manager here at Aqua Life due to COVID. I've been a chef for the past 20 years, and I've always kind of had that pipe dream, as everybody does, of you know working at or running a, an aquarium, you know, slash fish store and due to COVID and my hours just being cut, I needed to provide for my family and it was just a perfect timing. They were hiring, I was looking and it's kind of a dream come true, you know? Not everybody gets to work at a place where they enjoy what they do and it's really, really nice to go home happy and smiling, you know, from enjoying what I do for a living. All right, interesting. Well, give me the grand tour. What all is available here? From the front of the store to the back of the store, we have nano tanks, pico tanks, larger tanks, freshwater planted specific tanks, reef ready systems, you know, any kind of dosing supplement that you may need from planted to reef tanking abilities. You know, from filtration, lighting, we have, you know, everything to set up a tank that you may want to set up. And then we also have all the livestock to fill any tank. Holy cow, your fish store is huge. I mean, you got the salt water, fresh water, plants, everything. I guess, what would you say is one thing that is special or really unique about Aqua Life Aquarium? Um, what's special about Aqua Life is we have a little bit of everything that you could be looking for aquatic life. You know, if you want to branch out from fresh water and dip into salt water, we have lots of options for that. If you're into salt water because you want to try something different, we have the best selection of discus in all of California, and I believe we're third or fourth in all of America. America. And we have a really nice selection right now in the 300 gallon right here. Okay, well, as awesome as the store is, I want you to be honest with me here. What would you say is the hardest part of working at the store? That's a good question. The hardest part about running the store is just maintaining a balance between in-store service and just, you know, between the salt and fresh, just keeping a nice balance of things in the store for, you know, any customer that may walk in. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense given how large this fish store is. So conversely, what would you say is the best part of working at a fish store? The best part I would say is shipment days. You know, you go shopping on the weekends and shipment days like Christmas, you never know what you're gonna open up in the boxes, you know? Ah, that's so cool. Like I get excited if I just get an Amazon package at the door. So getting to unbox fish all the time would be the best. Um, if someone wants to work at a fish store and be able to do this as well, what kind of advice do you have for them? Don't be intimidated. I mean, we're all just reefers and, you know, fish keepers ourselves, you know, that just branch out and just have enough knowledge to where you can help people that come in the door. You know, just don't be intimidated by it. That was really helpful. Okay, how about for the hobbyist who wants to take it to the next level and open up their own fish store? What words of wisdom do you have for them? Lots of knowledge. The best advice I can give to someone that wants to start their own store is just lots of knowledge. Do lots of studying. It is a lot to take on in an opening, you know, between the livestock, dry goods, and setting up tanks that are going to be successful for keeping the fish and corals in them. You know, just like setting up a new aquarium, everything has to go through a cycle, so it's going to be a long process of, you know, bumpy roads in the beginning. Interesting. Okay. Now, given how many people you see for your job all the time, what would you say is the biggest misconception people have about fish keeping? I'd say the biggest misconception is just knowing 
a proper tank size that the fish is going to grow into. Just because you buy a fish that's a half inch doesn't mean it's going to stay that small. Some of them will grow to be over a foot long and you have to be prepared for that fish to grow. And for my final question, I wanted to know, what is one thing you feel like everybody in the aquarium hobby should know? Something everyone should know is just, you know, the addiction and the enjoyability that, you know, fish keeping can bring, you know. There's, each tank is going to be different, you know. My tank is different from your tank, which is different from someone else's tank. You set up a system based on what you want to enjoy. So it can be enjoyable for any person. Thank you so much, Jason, for showing us your store and sharing your knowledge. I just love talking to store managers and definitely once all this craziness in the world has died down, I hope to visit in person. So if you guys live in the Sacramento area though, you guys can go right now. I will put down the links to the store in the description. Otherwise, take time to enjoy your cramps and I'll see you in the next video. Bah, 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 bah. <laughs>